Hello and welcome back to Jinna Counselor and Interface. This week I wanted to take you on a tour of my six courses that I'm in and what each of them looks like. One of them is our rotation that I've shown a little bit of the um, actual in-person things that we do for that before but I have a little more footage of that and then if we look here just getting started and here I'm currently working on our, I, I suppose it's called a midterm, but it's not really a test. It's just a long assignment for pathology, pathophysiology or anatomy. We don't really know what the class is supposed to be called. But uh, anyway, we go through a lot of case studies and learn to read medical terminology. And best part of this class, the professor is hilarious. Um, if you look here... In your explanation, explain generally the function of the secondary bony palate in feeding infants, what the larval human, larval human, was not getting enough of while feeding. The fire alarm has been activated. Please remain in your apartment with the door closed until the fire department gives specific instructions to leave. This is advanced human genetics. This is the class where we've been learning cytogenetics, different kinds of genetic conditions we're likely to see in our career. We are now learning about autosomal dominant conditions and autosomal recessive conditions. Like here, we're learning about sickle cell. Uh, this is in our lecture. This is osmosis, which is one of my favorite channels to study off of. This is me and my classmate Taylor at Central Park. We're doing part of our extracurricular activities as part of our disability studies class where we go hang out with families who have kids with Down syndrome. This is ethics, I suppose. Um, this is actually my prep for my potential thesis. Ethics, the class, is kind of like the intro to research and how to conduct it. So part of that is coming up with our thesis idea and right now, I'm reading Brianne Kirkpatrick's book on adoptees to see if this is something I might want to explore further in my thesis project. This is Embryo. It's a mess. I've been stressed all night. We're supposed to be getting this back today and we haven't and it's getting late. Ah! Fundamentals of genetic counseling often looks a lot like this. It's just me awkwardly adjusting to trying to be a genetic counselor. Maybe a little bit dying inside with awkwardness, but making my way there. Sorry, I've been a bit absent lately. Um, you know, school actually started to get schooly and difficult. Um, and I prioritized getting rid of my job. <laughs> I actually, I love those dogs, I'll miss those dogs, but I actually decided not to continue in that job because of the uh, mental energy that it was taking. Again, it's not always the time. It's more like it was putting stress on me when my number one stress should be school. Um, but now I'm back and I did try and take some time this weekend to get away from school and from the stress of quitting a job. And so me and Zachary went to the Met. Zach, tell us how you feel about being at the Met today. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, you're taking video? Are you excited for the Met? I am actually. Aw. And here's a fountain where you can take pictures and uh, exist as the main character. This is the accidental Biden rally that we showed up to since he won while we were at the Met. So we went outside and got to enjoy the cheering on the streets. We won! <laughs> we came for the Met Museum and we accidentally showed up to a uh, Biden rally since he was called since he was called as the winner while we were here. And now we're just back in and wrapping up our tour of. Roman sculpture before we head out, but 
no videos of the exhibits. Will there be a learning moment this week? Yes, the learning moment is don't sell your soul to a minimum wage job. Take ownership, get out of toxic situations, and focus on things that are most important to your future. Till next time, folks.